you doing? Hey, what is going on? So many mini sites and all my guys who can ask out there. Y'all already know it's your boy Jordan, the Don Adorno. And if you did not know, your boy turns 28 today, you guys. That's right, today is my birthday. So I figured to celebrate with you guys, I would do the review of the brand spanking new Bandai Movie Monster Series 1993 Fire Rodan. So with all that being said, let's just jump right into the review. So to start things off, I just want to get this done and over with. Here is the card that comes with the figure. Very simplistic photo of Rodan before he meets his fate against Mechagodzilla in the spectacular Heisei movie that is Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2. Now, alongside with the header card, obviously one of the other things I want to discuss with you guys, which is, in my opinion, a very upsetting um, topic of discussion, and that is the sources of the points of articulation for this figure. Those are the only two sources of articulation we have for this figure. That's right, there's no head swivel, nothing like that, which in my opinion, it is a missed opportunity. But overall, you guys, with that being a minor full op, this figure is indeed an insane figure to own in your collection. Like I said during the brand new Bandai figures and X Plus figures coming our way video, I discussed with you guys that this would be the first Rodan figure, or not so much the first, but the second Rodan figure that I own in my collection. And being that there have been multiple of other different variants of the original Fire Rodan, or more so in particular, the 1993 Rodan Bandai figure, I've always tend to miss those opportunities when trying to purchase them. So the moment I heard that this guy was announced by Bandai, I knew I couldn't pass up on it. Plus, in my opinion, this new figure, in my in, again, my opinion, is the more accurate look to what Fire Rodan looked like in the 1993 film Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2. The details on this figure, though, may look simplistic and smooth. There are very high in depth details for this figure, especially being that it's a very simplistic look for the character. But overall, they do capture a lot of the important details onto this figure, and which gives it, I guess, a bonus point for me. Another bonus point that I would give Bandai for this specific figure is the paint application. Though I would say that I would have applied paint inside the mouth of Rodan. Overall, with that being a minor flaw, it should not discourage anybody to not purchase this because if you are trying to obtain a movie accurate Fire Rodan figure, this is it. Bandai, you guys done it again and you guys established your dominance when trying to really capture the likeness of these specific characters. And I absolutely love this figure. I'm happy that I'm actually finally able to obtain a Bandai format of a Fire Rodan figure. But with all that being said, you guys, here are some shots I made for size comparisons. But overall, that is it for the Bandai Movie Monster Series Fire Rodan figure, you guys. I will leave a link as to where I purchased this figure so that you guys can be able to get it. Also, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And see you guys very, very soon.